Hi, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Today I just want to do a quick video on my that kit for that face converter I got from Face Converter USA on the internet there. And the kit comes with it was 130 like 135 bucks. I have power off to all this. It came with all this stuff. It didn't come with the clamps. It came with the start capacitors, run capacitors, all the wire, all the terminal ends, the contactors, the terminal block, and the voltage sensing line. With this kit, all you need is a motor and an enclosure. And they send everything else. That's why it's so economic. I've been very happy with it. Very like daily use, no problem since I got it. The only thing I didn't use from the kit is I put in my own on off switch. Theirs was just a, I wasn't happy with the, how light duty it was. Yeah, this thing has been amazing. Now a lot of it's going to depend of course on the quality of the motor that you use. You wanna use a good quality motor or at least somewhat newer. Uh, but this 15, I got the 15 horse version. That's a 15 horse uh, Baldor. And it has no problems. I was doing test cuts on the big LeBlanc, which has a 10 inch or a 10 horsepower motor. It has no, once you get past the inrush amps, of course, it has no problems whatsoever. I am thinking about upgrading to a 20 horse. That way everything in here would be rated for 60 amp. Because I just got a new three phase, or not new, new to me, three phase. 60 amp welder so i think i might do that and then either give this set of, i think the only difference is going to be the ratings of the contactors and i think it will come with one each more the capacitors so let me get this shut and, and turned off and i'll fire it up for you okay we've got our enclosure shut again everything out of the way and there we go Motor is running. That little bit of a vibration you hear is I need to put a rubber pad underneath this. This motor is actually very quiet. I made a nose protector for the shaft in case I wanted to use the motor for something else. A lot of people cut the shafts off them. I am not a fan of that. Yeah, runs nice and smooth. And you've seen multiple things I have run off of it. So, uh, yeah, I've been very happy with it. Uh, as far as running the machines I do, sorry it's a mess out here, but the big LeBlanc, the big drill press I've been using a lot, and a few other things. I've been immensely happy with it. So you might give them, not sponsored or anything of course, but you might give them a check. Then two, let me rack everything out here real quick. Okay, I turned off the breaker. If a component ever goes bad, you do have the, the values on here. A lot of people have asked me since I got this, can you tell me the, you know, and I'm going to touch capacitors because obviously it's this one. Uh, will you give me the values of everything so I can build my own? I don't want to do that. The people who put this together did their research, you know, figured everything out. So I don't want to this tell you what to go get so you go get it somewhere else i i'm not going to do that so if you want to buy one and do that that's up to you and when i got it some people complained about the wiring diagram if it was colorized because the wires they give you are the red or orange it would have helped some people what confused a lot of people is this print is the same for the where it say three horsepower to 20 horse so the amount of capacitors you get doesn't match what it comes with and that's what was throwing a lot of people off otherwise i would suggest taking like a highlighter as you go and highlighting everything you're doing yeah i thought it was very easy to follow but i could see where some people especially where the the resistor is in that guy yeah very cool yeah, once again, just wanted to give you guys a little update on it. And uh, if you're looking for a low-cost converter option without doing it yourself or 
this will give you a push button one where you you know you have to start with a rope and stuff like the other ones were. So yeah, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.